who was a Masinchi master, working with consciousness. He was very old and he came from a system around the star Deneb, which is a blue-white supergiant star at the other side of the galaxy. And from here, it looks like it's in the Cross of Cygnus, one of the brightest stars in the sky, and it's also part of the Summer Triangle in the Northern Hemisphere. Cygnus also lies deep within the Milky Way. This became more significant a couple of years ago, back in 2009. I'd always had a strong interest in Australia. My grandfather was Australian born, and it turns out that he was actually a member of what is known as the Stolen Generations, which between 1869 and 1969 Children were taken from their parents, native Aboriginal children this is, and rehomed either in white foster families or in institutions run by the church and they were indoctrinated and cut off and it was an attempt at genocide to destroy the Aboriginal way of life, dilute down literally by genetics, dilute down the Aboriginal gene pool. So it's an attempt at genocide. But I became interested in playing the didgeridoo and all things Aboriginal. As during this time, I was researching storytelling. Stories like how the kangaroo caught its pouch, which was the story my grandfather used to tell me. But when researching this, I found a story about the Wanjina. Now, the Wanjina are sky gods. In the traditions in the Kimberley region in Australia, the sky gods came down from the Milky Way. The main one, Wollongunda, came down, walked down the Milky Way and created the earth and all the inhabitants. And it is said he looked around him after creating mankind and thought to himself, I'm going to need a hand here with all this. So he went up the Milky Way and brought down all his friends, the Wanjina. It turns out that Zenchi is one of these Wanjina beings. And a picture I showed you before of Zenchi. When you look at this in new light, because I drew that picture many years ago, at least 10 years ago. When you look at it in the light of the one Gina, which I've just found out about, you can see there are many similarities. For example, there's lightning drawn the top of his so-called hat. And this is often associated with one Gina. They're often associated with lightning or rain. The large hat obscures Zenchi's face and his features. This is because of Wanjina, look a bit like the greys. They have large black eyes and absent mouths because he actually used to communicate telepathically. This might have been my subconscious blocking out what he actually looked like, but leaving me the impression of a very large head. Also, the Wanjina carried with them something called the Dreamtime Snake, which looks this structure here which I thought was just somebody clasping their hands was actually a dreamtime snake. 